okay? And we might want to give it a slightly different behavior for visited. So I'm going to do header nav ul lia colon visited. And then I'm going to do the color. Let's do RGBA. Let's do 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.8. I don't know if this will show up on camera. But we'll refresh. And, and not really. But you can play with that and change the color of the visited links. For instance, let's just get rid of this RGBA. And let's just make it plain old red. This should show up nicely. Okay, so we see that we visited these, they're red. Again, you can play with it. Now, we could also do this with the hover. So if we want to hover over it, we do have header nav ul li a colon hover. And we can make the color, I don't know, yellow, something like that. Okay, lots of different colors you can do. Let's refresh. And now, if I hover, you see it changes color to yellow. Not the nicest color. Let's make it uh, let's make it navy, something like that. Refresh, and now we've got yeah, yeah, that does it for me. That's that navy is pretty nice, and I'm kind of liking this menu as is. Uh, but I think above the menu, I think we should have some kind of um, something that's says the name of the page or something. So at the top of the header, above the nav, I'm going to make an anchor tag. Let's give it a class of site-title. We'll hit tab. We want the hypertext reference. We're going to go just to the index.html page. Typically on a website, when you click on the logo, you go to the index.html page. So I'm going to do upslopemath.com. I'm going to save it, and let's refresh. And we see it here, but it looks like a link. Okay. So I'm going to go to my main CSS, and I can switch to this via short, uh, a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt 2. Okay. And I think I want the site title. I kind of want it how it appears on the page. So I'm going to do site-title here to access that class. And I'm going to do text decoration of none. Let's do TT for text transform. And I want that to be uppercase. Okay. I also want to have some letter spacing. Let's do 0 0.0.05 rem. And I want to put this in alphabetical order. Now, what I'm doing here is control shift and the arrow keys to move this up and down. I'm going to save this and see how it's looking. Okay, that's looking better. Maybe a bit much spacing, but we also want to change the font size. So I'm going to type FS, select font slot size, and let's make it 1.5 rem and refresh. And now that's looking a bit better. Let's do FW and select font weight. And let's make it bold. Okay, and refresh. And eh, I don't know if I like that as much. Um, so I'm just going to comment that out and think about that later. And I did the control forward slash to do that. I kind of like it thinner. Okay. And we also want to do the color. So I'm going to do a color. And I'm going to do RGBA. Uh, and 0, 0, 0, and I can hit tab to move through these, and then do 0 0.5, Give it a little bit less. Okay, so now it kind of fades in there, okay? And we can also maybe give a little room at the top of the header. So let's go to header. Let's actually put that right here. Header, and let's just do MT for margin top, and let's do 50 pixels, okay? And we'll save, and that didn't move it down much at all. Let's do 100 pixels, save it. And why is that? Okay, there we go. Uh, that's why it's, it's moving it down quite a bit, actually, and that's almost a little much, so let's go back to 50. Um, 
I just had to scroll down. Okay, so let's do 50. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got our menu. We've got our latest posts here. Now, for this page, we may want to have some links, something like learn more. So we can do that. Go Alt-1 to go back to our index.html. And I'm going to place the cursor here, hold Control, place the cursor here, and also place the cursor here. I'm going to type A and hit Tab, and hit Enter. And I'm just going to put a hashtag because we don't know where it's going to go. And then I'll type Learn More with three dots. Hit Save, and we'll see those links show up. Looking pretty good. OK. Um, now, in the complex numbers, maybe I want a list, but I want an ordered list and then a sub list of an unordered list. So let's do that. So we'll go down here, create our ordered list, type OL. OK, and then we'll do our list item, we'll do list item one, two, three, and four. So we'll do two, three, and four, but now after three, we want an unordered list. Okay, so we could do that. We could type within the list item, we can type a UL tag, and then we can do a sub list item. So this would be a sub list item one, and do a couple more. So do two and three, and let's see how this is looking. Okay, so now we've got our sub list items. Pretty nice. Okay. And, um, but, but one thing we've got that's a little disconcerting is we've got this aside here. Uh, the actual sidebar should actually be on the side here, and maybe the main should be a little bit less. So let's go back to our CSS and we're going to go down below the header here. We're going to type main, and I'm going to say, the display of the main is an inline block. And I'm going to say the width is 70%. And let's do the float of left. OK. And I just move that up with the Control, Shift, and the arrow key. And I'm also going to say the side is going to be a display of inline block. We're going to float it, let's float it right, and let's give it a width of 25%. Okay. And then we're going to have a footer, which is a display of, let's do inline block, and let's do a width of 100%. So it definitely pushes it, pushes it to the bottom. Okay. So if I refresh this now, okay. So now we've got our sidebar and if I move this, we see our footer is where it's supposed to be. Um, the about the author uh, could move down a little bit to get it with the quadratic formula. So let's do a margin top here. So I'm going to do MT for margin top. Let's do 100 pixels and see where that puts it. That's probably a little much. That is too much. Let's do... 60 pixels. And that's close, but maybe still too much. Let's do 53 pixels. We can play with this quite a bit. OK, uh, now there are certain uh, things you can do to make this look even better. Um, you know, you can line it up with like, like tools like uh, I think it's pesticide is one where you can see the boxes. But, you know, eyeballing it. Yeah, maybe maybe I want to go 52. Is that you know? But then you're you're playing with pixels, and does it really matter? Uh, not really. Okay, so we changed our font. We've got our home algebra one, algebra two, and SAT pages. I think at this point uh, we're looking pretty good for a desktop version of the site. I'm gonna stop here, and. In the next video, we'll continue to work on the site. I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And remember, please like and subscribe 
as it really does help the channel grow and also share this video with other people. The more people that see it, uh, the more it inspires me to make videos like this. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.